Hi, welcome to the Entertainment Munster. I'm Isaac Prowls, and today we're talking about Jason Bourne. This is the fifth movie in this franchise, and this is probably the most boring movie of them all. I've never been really a big fan of the Jason Bourne films, and this film didn't make me want to see any of the other films. So, this one had a lot of the shaky cam in the beginning of the film, where you trying to figure out what's going on, you're trying to see what's happening. I guess they thought it was a good idea to put the camera that close and to be moving it around during the chase scenes and during some of the fighting scenes and it didn't work. It also happened again toward the end of the film. There's also some stuff that happens in, in the beginning of the movie that didn't make very much sense. Uh, she, There's one character that goes to find Jason Bourne and instead of just talking to him right then and there, she leaves a note go talk to him somewhere else in, in the middle of a big riot and the whole scene just doesn't make any sense. The whole movie is pretty boring. There's not a lot going on. It's not intense. It's not like that, uh, you know, that thriller action suspense where you have to catch the good guy or fight the bad guys. You're not really interested in any of the characters, not even Jason Bourne because the story is so depressing. There's, you know, this is a fifth movie. He's still having the flashbacks. He still doesn't know who he is or what happened. It's kind of goofy. So, my recommendation is probably just to skip this movie. And if you're a fan of the Jason Bourne movies, you're probably going to go see it anyway. But, good luck. <laughs> There's got to be something else out there to watch this weekend. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time.